Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I am going to be doing an insert for another project that I'm doing but I thought I would show you the details of how I make this insert because I'm going to be making it using my foiling machine. Now I know that the video I made showing you my foiling machine has proved really popular but I've never actually done any projects on here with that so I thought it would be fun just to take advantage of the fact that I want to use it to show you how it works or how I go about using it for a project. Okay so the first thing I want to do is open up something whether it's I'm going to use Photoshop but you could use Word, um, your Mac equivalent to Word, any other photo to editing software that you've got, anything really that you could write text in and that you could use a bit of clip art, something like that, because you want something like that is black and white sort of design because that's going to work best. Um, so I, as I say, I'm going to open up my Photoshop. Now I'm going to be printing this out on an A4 piece of paper, but I'm then going to cut it down to be seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters because it's for an eight inch square card. Now, because I want to be able to see the size of my finished piece, I'm actually going to open up a virtual pa page on here to the seven and three quarters square because then I can see where my elements will fit, what size they need to be, etc. If I open just an A4 up, I'm really not going to know very easily where to position that. Even a simple sentiment, you're not going to know if you've got it central, a little bit to the left, a little to the right. So unless you're going to tag it or something like that with um, your dies afterwards or just by cutting by hand, then you probably are better off to make your page the size of your finished element. So I'm going to get a blank file and it's already typed in here. I've changed it to inches and I've got seven and three quarters or 7.75 by 7.75. And then we're just going to click OK. And so we've got our little page here at seven and three quarters square. So then I'm going to go across to my graphics, but you could go across to your clip art or whatever it is. But I, I want some bits that are just black and white. So I'm looking for just a couple of different elements. Okay, so now I'm just going to size these pieces. So I'm just going to open that up a bit. And then the last thing I need is some text. And now we're going to go across and I'm going to print this on my laser printer. So for my particular foiling machine, um, you need to use the laser printer. You will need to do the same if you're using the mink and designing your own as well. I understand. Okay, so I'm going to go and print this out and then we will come across to my foiling machine and I will show you what we do on there. Okay, so we're at my foil machine. So we just need to first of all switch it on. So I've plugged it in. I don't leave it plugged in when I'm not using it because it obviously could switch itself on and then it's a fire risk. Mine comes with a booklet um, telling you all the temperatures and I've also got a box with all the foils in so I keep all of that together and I've got the booklet in there. Now I'm using paper so I want 150 to 160 C's so you just adjust your temperature here. I always like to go the higher temperature to be honest so I'm going to take it right up to the 160 and it will flash on that temperature until it's ready and at temperature. So you just wait and then what it does is it will tell you there what temperature it's at and then when it gets to the right temperature. Okay. So while it's waiting, I've got it uh, going up temperature. I've got my sheet here that I printed out. It's on actually a nice pearlescent piece of paper itself. So I've printed that out and you can see it's on the A4. So then I'm going to find the foil that I want and because this has got like a gold through it I thought that I would go for a gold foil so I'm just going to go through my box here and get my foiling sorted. Okay so we're at temperature and I've popped foil all over. Now obviously not all of this is going to get used and it can therefore be used again and again until it's all used up but I've tried to cover it as best as possible and I've used a little tape just to hold it down and then all I do is put 
another sheet of A4 paper just over the top. Now, by the way, it's the foil is the coloured side up. Okay, so that it goes, obviously, so when it comes onto your page, you have the coloured side up. Okay, so now it's at temperature. As I say, you've got a piece of paper over the top of your foil and you just, you could put another piece underneath if you wanted, but I think that's fine. And then all you do is you just feed it in and it just grabs it for you. And you can just hold it in position to stop it flopping or you can just let it get on with it. And it just feeds it through. So out it pops. And then we can easily check. Not quite, there we go. And we can easily check if it's gone on or, uh, you know, if it's taken okay. Because usually you can kind of see, like here around the border here, you can kind of see where it's obviously stuck. So it's kind of clear. But worst case, if it hasn't taken anywhere, um, then it's not a big deal. You can easily just add a little section and pop it through again. Okay, so let's just take this foil off and see what it looks like. And there we go, isn't it look gorgeous? Beautiful, shiny, and the border, and then we'll just cut that down to size to our eight inches and make that as a gorgeous insert. Okay, so this is our insert done. So then the only thing that's left to do is just to turn the machine off. Now what you need to do when you turn your machine off is turn it down to about 40 and let it carry on doing the fan because the fan will cool it down. Leave that for about 10 minutes, say 40 and then turn it down to say 20 for another 5 minutes and then down well leave it at 20 then switch it off and that'll be fine but don't forget you need to leave it uncovered and open until it's completely and utterly cold and then unplug it make sure you always unplug it at the power okay so that is our insert foil insert done and uh, so i hope you've enjoyed making this with me if you want to see the project that this goes in then i will put a link to it for you uh, underneath the video. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.